I'm going to show you my uh, TFT, my touch screen here. You can see the little package that it came in. I got this from Amazon. Didn't have any documentation. Did have this little stylus that uh, goes with it. Other than that, there wasn't a whole lot online that I could find out. Uh, so I basically did some searching online. <clears throat> found some Adafruit, Adafruit libraries that uh, were supposed to work with these type of screens and uh, I went ahead and installed those and uh, still had a few issues but eventually got it worked out and I'm going to show you my code and uh, give you a little example of this thing working. Hopefully you can uh, see this here. Gives you a little idea of what the driver is and here's my little LCD screen. And uh, you can use this little app to uh, calibrate your screen or at least get the readings that you need to uh, get your calibration settings which I'll talk about in a minute with the code. Right now it's in circle mode, it's just drawing these circles. I'm going to switch to square mode or rectangle and it'll start drawing the rectangles out. Now if you wait long enough and you'll see how long in the code there, it'll actually switch to a uh, screensaver mode. I'm going to do that real quick and uh, See, it goes to a screensaver mode. I'm going to get it out of screensaver mode here. And go to this design mode. And it'll eventually go to screensaver mode. Alright, so now I'm going to go over the code. Now there's a few things you are going to need. You're going to need these libraries you can get from Adfruit. Uh, <clears throat> they don't necessarily work straight out of the box for this particular LCD display. The things I had to change, basically, right here I had to change all these uh, I think this was 6 and 7 or something like that for the default code but this is what I had to change it to to get it, the touch screen working with this particular model uh, this is just some of your standard code for touch screens your minimum pressure max pressure these are your calibration settings uh, this is what you're going to want to check the, the sides of the screen for if you get those uh, raw values there you can figure out your calibration settings so this will show you some of those raw values over here anyways you can use this to uh, help you find out what your calibration settings should be these are just some colors and some more standard fruit or I'm sorry standard code you get your add fruit Adafruit, TFT, and touch screen, and some other variables, including a screen timeout for the screensaver. Here's your uh, setup loop, your setup function, actually. And here's some more code. I'll just scroll through it, give you a little idea of what's going on. Um, basically, prints out the driver and then uh, prints out a little message saying, Touch me with the buttons there. This is the loop. And it gets your point, whether there is a point pressed or not. And uh, these things, you got to make sure you've got this here to have it work. Uh, this just basically runs the screensaver or draws the buttons, depending on what state it's in. Come down here. Now, this basically is going to detect your button press, this little section here, and give you your XY coordinates and your pressure setting. <clears throat> on down here and we get to this area here this this is an area that can uh, mess you up when I first installed these things the coordinates were all kind of reversed things weren't really coming out the way they should in terms of where I was pressing on the screen uh, so I had to change these uh, equations a little bit to transpose the X and Y correctly. So that's something you're going to probably have to deal with uh, depending on what type of model you have. And this is just setting the regions of those buttons so that uh, when one of those buttons are pressed, one of the regions, it uh, changes the state. And the button state is basically used to determine what you're going to be drawing or what the screensaver is going to draw. So in this button state, there's a circle, then we've got the triangle, and the rectangle, 
and then it's got those designs basically that uh, remain. And we'll keep going down. We also have draw character, which you see right now, and it's just scrolling through a couple different characters. And this is this is good uh, for debugging. This is the raw data and the transposed data as well. The same data that's showing up on the screen. And here's a function called draw buttons that just draws out the buttons over on the side of the screen there, the triangle and the square and the circle. And here's run screensaver. So if we wait too long without pressing a button, it goes through and plays that function and gets a sort of random number goes through there and depending on the state it will do the circle, triangle, rectangle or those designs are the character which is what it's doing right now so it's in state 5 and here we have a triangle design which is just kind of maps out that little triangle design thing this this here and get down here you got this little extra function called circle move and it's not actually being used right now and I forgot to go over triangle design here or design uh, draw design which does this little circle design thing anyways that's the code and it does work uh, on this particular model touch screen and everything and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this helps you get things working and if you uh, have any trouble uh, post a comment thanks